Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Wikimedia Tutorials, and today we're going to take a look at filters. The last episode we've looked at frequencies, and today we're going to look at how we're going to change the frequency content of a signal. A filter is being used to remove groups of frequencies from our signal. When looking at filters, there's different types of filters that we can run into. The first filter I'm going to take a look at is a low cut filter, or else called a high pass filter. A high pass filter lets through the high frequencies by cutting all the low frequencies. This can be helpful when you just need to remove a whole bunch of low frequencies from your signal and it can be really cool as an effect. This is what it sounds like on the background music. So you could uh, clearly hear where I uh, cut away all the low frequencies and uh, where I brought them back in. The next filter I want to take a look at is a low pass or a high cut filter, which is exactly the opposite of what we just heard. A low pass filter lets through the low frequencies of a signal by removing or cutting the high frequencies. So this is being used to remove the high frequencies and again it's really cool as an effect. So you now could really hear that the high frequencies were being cut away and that we just had the low part of the signal. And then we've got a band cut filter. This just removes a region or a band of frequencies. Let's say we've got this really annoying frequency around 4 or 500 hertz. And then with a band cut filter, we can actually just remove that small portion of frequencies in that area. And we also have a band pass filter, which basically removes all the low frequencies and the high frequencies from a point and keeps a band of frequencies in the middle. And then we have a notch filter. A notch filter is basically a band cut filter, but then with a really narrow band, so it just affects a really small group of frequencies. And then we have a comp filter. A comp filter is a series of really small notch filters in a row, so they basically look like a comb. So what are the functions that we can find on these filters? Probably the most important is the frequency parameter. The frequency parameter allows us to set from where that the filter should work. When we're working with a low cut filter, the frequency parameter defines from where below the frequencies will be cut. So the frequency is probably the first setting that we apply when we uh, insert a filter. Then we have the slope. The slope describes the attenuation of frequencies per octave. Slopes normally go in uh, steps of 6 dB. So we can have a slope of 6 dB. That means for every octave, the attenuation will be 6 dB more. If we use a slope of 24, that means for every octave, uh, attenuation of 24. So that's a much uh, a steeper slope. So it basically means that it filters more and we will have more effect. Most filters allow you to set the amount of attenuation per octave, but normally this is fixed in groups of six. So you can choose six, 12, 18, 24, etc. When we're working with a band pass or a band cut filter, we usually have two frequency selections. That is for each side of the filter. The next function is the resonance. And the resonance is actually a small boost at the edges of our frequency selection. And this actually enhances the sound of a sweep when we're uh, making a filter sweep through, uh, through the spectrum. I'm going to play the song with a high cut filter and I'm going to swoosh or sweep through my frequencies. And I'm going to do that twice, once without any resonance. And at the second, I'm going to increase that resonance so you can hear the effect. So you could really hear that sharp edge when the resonance was increased. When you give that filter sweep, it's a lot more noticeable because you can really hear that sweep. So um, this is just covering the basics of, uh, of what we're going to be looking at. In the next tutorial, I'm going to take a look at a practical session. I'm really going to use uh, filters in a project and show you some more examples. And in the uh, episode after that, I'm going to talk about equalizers. So I uh, hope uh, y'all enjoyed this uh, tutorial and I uh, hope to see y'all soon for the next one.